All right, guys, welcome to part, welcome to part two of the Mount Baldy, California, clear ditch, clear micro, whatever you want to call it, fishing expedition, I don't know. I didn't come up with a name with it, so that's just what I got at the top of my head. And how do you guys like my setup? It is like 92 degrees out today here in California, and yeah, I just, it, it was super sunny earlier. It looks like it might rain a little bit, but I got this uh, beach umbrella and I've got it attached to my car. I've got it crammed through the window, so hopefully I can keep the sun off me, maybe a little bit of rain, but let me tell you what I am doing. So right here in front of me, there's this ultra, ultra, ultra clear water canal. I mean, it is crystal clear. You could see all the way to the bottom and it runs all the way down there to the ocean. And there's a lock way, way down there, quite a long ways. And basically when they open it, some saltwater species that can also tolerate freshwater, they make it in and they thrive and they breed in here. The main species we're after today is a jack creval, but I'll take whatever I can get. There's peacock bass in here. I saw a couple swim by as I was setting up and there's also snook. Those are really hard to catch in clear water systems, so I'm not expecting to catch a snook. There's also some ladyfish. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's grass carp, there's cichlids, there's tilapia, you name it. The sun came back out. It's super humid. It's really hot. I'm just posted up under my umbrella. As soon as I see a school or a single jack or whatever, if they cruise by, I'm tossing my bait at it. Hopefully, they'll eat it. So hopefully we can get hooked up. <laughs> I'll be checking in as soon as I make it my first cast at these guys. Well, second cast since I kind of just did that just now. Here we go. Hooked up. I'm, I'm bit. I'm bit, you guys. There we go. There we go. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Listen to that drag scream. <laughs> oh! He's taking me. He's just dogging the hell out of me. There's nothing, I can't, there we go. Oh yeah, they fight so good. Woo I'm gonna see if I can walk him back. Whew, my heart's racing, guys. Oh, oh, I thought I broke off. He's still there. try and walk back so I can fight him a little bit better. It's one of the bigger ones too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's got me in the side, I gotta be careful. This is what I'm talking about. A little patience and perseverance pays off. He's gonna try and get me in the culvert. I know it. Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's a decent one. I think, I think we're good. Oh yeah, he's got me. Guys, you can see he's got me wrapped right there in those plants. He's out. Now he better not go in this culvert. Just swimming in circles, he's dogging. Got some spectators. Oh man, you got a net, look at that. Look at this good Samaritan. I think I got it though. Woo! This isn't the biggest jack I've ever caught, but you gotta admit, they fight hard no matter what size. So get this guy back and uh, catch another one. All right guys, bait's in the water. I'm just gonna do what I did last time at the end of this canal. It's just sit with my bait in the water and just wait for those jacks to cruise on by. That's really, it's really all you can do. When the jacks cruise by, they see the bait first and not me. And then by the time they see me, it should be too late. They should already have the bait in their mouth. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm 
hooked up. Got him. This is a really dark fish. He's not running yet. Oh my gosh. He's not huge either. Come on, where are you? Run, do something, be a jack. Well, he kind of is acting jacky. He's just kind of... There it is. He's kind of running in circles. Okay, he's real deep. Can't see him. Oh man, I saw him swimming around. He kind of chased my bait around once. Oh, see, he's just swimming in circles. This is what, this is a jack. Well, a small jack. All right, let me, I'm gonna see if I can turn the big camera on. Oh man, this fish, he just woke up finally. He's way, way down there. Man. He's coming though. He is coming. I could probably put a little more pressure on him. I, I do have the drag set a little loose. Holy crap, this guy, he doesn't want to finish. Staying deep. There, he lightened up now too. I can really see him. All right, guys. All right, looks like he's coming. I don't know, I gotta find a spot to land this guy. I think over there looks okay. Man, I should get a freaking net, huh? That would make a lot of sense, right? Oh boy, this is impossible. All right, you know, I'm just gonna grab the leader. Hopefully it doesn't break. 30 pound, there we go, got him, yes! There it is, jack number two. All right, well, I'm gonna get him real quick because he fought really hard, so I'm gonna do the typical jack dunk, and that should be, make him, I can't speak English, guys, but he should be good. All right, dude. There it is, the, the jack dunk, and he's swimming off perfectly fine. was not the species I wanted to catch, but wow, check that out. I haven't caught one of these guys yet. One of these little zebra things. That's pretty cool. I can't tell, this might be a spotted tilapia, but he's got those stripes, you know? All right, still got my worm. Get out of here. He's out of the pipe, he's jumping. So awesome, you know. You really don't see a lot of peacocks in this area. Guys, take a look at this peacock bat's mouth right here. He has seen some better days. Well, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna get him back in the water ASAP. All right, guy, be free. Look at that beast swam away strong honestly i was coming to all these bridges hoping to find a snook and lo and behold peacock bass and that fish's mouth was so deformed you guys it just goes to show you that even though they have a deformity like that it doesn't stop them that peacock was it didn't matter that fish he fought hard and as soon as i got him back in the water he took off all right ladies and gentlemen we are back where we started we're at the mouth of the main canal here and yeah, I'm just gonna use up the rest of my baits. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Yeah, see you on the chest cam. Look at this. I got one more Jack, I caught him. 
but I have some bad news. This guy right here, this guy, recorded it, but I went to go check the footage. I went on the GoPro app just to see because it was a sick fight. It was so sick. For some reason, I have, I can't, I have no idea why, there is no audio. Not one bit of audio. And I'm telling you, it was an amazing fight, to say the least. So, here's the GoPro footage, and then I'll switch over to the big camera. It was actually kind of funny, some landscaping guys actually showed up, and I handed one of them the camera, and then, you know, I talked to the camera, and then he started like, he was like a pro, man. He was like zooming around, and some plane was coming into land, and he was like tracking it with the camera and stuff like that. The guy was, the guy was legit. Maybe I should hire him, but, yeah, there's no, there's no audio in this clip. The GoPro, at least. So I'm actually going to narrate it from the editing desk and just let you guys know what happened and uh, then we'll cut to the big camera and that's it. All right guys, welcome to my editing desk. Um, so I had a jewel cichlid tied on or hooked, whatever you wanna call it, uh, saving the best baits for last. Um, I was staying far away from the outflow of the pipe because I could see all the jack, they were schooling right there. There's a little mullet that jumped in the background right as the jack ate. And you guys might have heard that. You can actually hear a little bit of the audio. I don't know what the deal was. But yeah, it, the fish was ripping down the canal away from me. It was really hard. It was doing these uh, long pumps, I guess you could say. You can see that thing just peel and drag. And I actually had the drag really, really tight too. A lot tighter than I uh, had been earlier in the day. And you can see the jack, he's running at me right now. And then right about here, I realized <laughs> that uh, he was running at the pipe. And he actually went... Right here is when he went in the pipe. And I thought I was gonna get broken off. I could feel the braid and the leader scraping on those bars. There you saw him, he popped right out. I pulled him out of there. I could not believe I landed that. I was absolutely, it, I didn't even know what to say at that point. Yeah, it still has some fight in him, but I'm keeping him on the surface. Uh, I don't know, For I just, my adrenaline was pumping so hard when he when he went in the pipe and I dragged him out that I was like the rest of this I, I rushed so I kind of just high sticked them up the bank and there's where my rod broke when I high sticked it. Yep, real smart move right there. And there it is. And then these landscaping dudes that I told you about they're walking up right now. They're like they're freaking out. They can't believe I just caught a jack in a freshwater canal. And uh that's it. Switching over to the big cam where uh, I gave it to one of the dudes. There it is, you guys. One of these clear water, fresh water Jack Creval's. And it only took like 10 seconds and we got him. Well guys, that's it. I used up all my bait and had an amazing day here in the clear canals of Mount Baldy, California. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys maybe learned something, how to bait up, how to target these freshwater jacks. Uh, it was absolutely a blast. They fight so hard. I mean, they're, they're Jack Creval's and they were a decent size. They weren't those gigantic submarines that you see like Lawson Lindsay catch and you know, black tip H and whatnot. But this is a really unique experience that you cannot find anywhere else. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. My name is Eric. This is the Flow Bash channel. Make sure that you stay inspired and get out there, go catch some more fish. I'll see you in next week's video. Peace out.